Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us here this weekend. Let's begin with quite a program that can open a lot of doors for young Latinas. How do we help them become leaders and entrepreneurs? That is the big question. And joining us to talk a little bit about that, NABO's uh, Yale program, uh, Young Entrepreneurs Academy, that's what it stands for, our Emily Smith a former president and current board member of NABO and Brianna Madrigal, who graduated from the program. Welcome to the two of you. Thank you. I, I like the name of this program. Here. Yeah. 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 Yay. And so the idea is to help these young girls become entrepreneurs, open their own businesses, know how to put together a business plan. Why did you guys think that was so important? Well, you know, NABO, we've done a lot of great things over the last 40 years, but we are a group of um, very influential women business owners that come together. And the one common thread is that we want to leave the community better than we found it. We really feel an obligation to bring up the next round of leaders coming forth. We've done a lot of great things, but this really is much bigger than anything we've done. So we're now in the second year. Brianna is a graduate of the program, which is incredibly exciting. Okay. So we're looking forward to next year. Okay, yeah. sounds great. And so we, you know, we have you here because Brianna, of course, mm -hmm. young Latina girl, and that's what we're always trying to promote on this show. Yeah. But you're helping uh, all different groups. It's not just a Latino program, right? Oh yeah, certainly. We believe in diversity, right, first and foremost. And we felt very strongly, though, in it being only girls because girls, you know, they struggle with that confidence issue. A lot of them don't know, you know, where they want to go, what the direction they want to head. So we really want to open their eyes mm -hmm. to a lot of different opportunities. Okay, yeah. let's move on over to Brianna because I don't want to forget you. You have a really interesting story how you came to uh, NABO and the program because you wanted to start your own really non-for-profit, right? Mm -hmm. so, so tell folks what you've done. Yeah, so um, I began, I, I um, sorry. Yeah, you became interested in it mm -hmm. uh, because it's it's a, a group where you help young girls who are in elementary school, right? Is that how yes. it works? So I started a club at my school and with the YAY program, I kind of made it into a nonprofit. So um, we basically are situated in a high school and we go to an elementary school and kind of mentor the seventh and eighth grade girls there wow. on confidence and bullying and self esteem and things like that. So it's kind of like a support system. Mm -hmm. yeah. for like all the other girls so that they can have like an older sister. So you meet somebody like Brianna mm -hmm. who has a great idea of something that she wants to do. How were you able to help her? So you went to her and yeah. said this is what you need to do. Well, you know, right now we're accepting applications for this next following year. And so Brianna actually came to us um, from the schools. She pitched her idea and we accepted her into the program. And then over the course of nine months, we worked with DePaul University mm -hmm. to help teach them about business plans, um, there's different segments um, to learn really A, B, and C about business, right? And then help take them and launch it. And um, Brianna was actually the finalist, like I mentioned, and she went to Boca Raton this year. And she got the connections you made were incredible, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. What were you able to learn there uh, during that trip to Florida? Um, it was a lot of networking. So I practiced the networking skills that we learned from the YAY program. Mm -hmm. um, we also kind of... Um, heard a lot of speakers and people that run their own businesses and it was just an overall really amazing experience um, to be there and have insight on kind of like what the business life is like. Yeah and I think it really gives you some insight on how to be a good effective leader which is mm -hmm. so important mm -hmm. if you are starting your own business or your own non-for-profit. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean her parents were we were just discussing that she thought she wanted to go into medicine until she did this program, and mm -hmm. now all of a sudden she's more focused on entrepreneurship, yeah. which is huge. So okay. it's exciting. And one of the exciting parts for us is that, you know, I, I just spoke with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce not long mm -hmm. ago, I think it was this week, and they said, you know, the Latino businesses, Latino entrepreneurs are the fastest growing fastest group growing. of any other group. Mm -hmm. So it becomes even more important to have some help and some resources out there. Absolutely. And it's more just getting people educated on what the program is and where to find us. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So what's next for um, the group what are you how, what are you doing to sort of uh, recruit some new kids um, well you know for Navo itself we have our largest event coming up of the year or the kickoff for Crane Small Business Week October 5th so certainly oh, okay. anyone's welcome to join um, and then we have some education sessions that are coming up that are going to be on our website so if anyone's interested they can certainly check that out okay. at NavoChicago.org okay and Brianna what's next for you um, well, right now we're working on expanding Sisters for Change, or right now we're getting settled in the school, but um, pretty soon um, we hope to be in other high schools. Okay, so it's just the one school right now? Yes, it's okay. just my school right now. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're going to do great. Shake my hand thank over you. here. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. All right.
Okay, the website, there it is on your screen, NaboChicago.org. Check it out if you want information uh, on how to be a part of it.